Hi students, this is the expected solution for question 1. So make sure that the input is in line. And you should also format the output to be the largest number is uh, whichever is the largest number. This is the solution for expected solution for question two. So the user is supposed to enter an integer, and the next one will also be an integer. But you can assume that the second integer will always be larger than the first integer. And the expected output, make sure you format it okay in such a manner so it will print from the smallest the smaller integer increment increment by one all the way until the larger integer question three is very straightforward so basically you must create the array to contain the 10 integers stated in the question and you are supposed to produce the output so that uh, only those that are equal or greater than 77 will be printed out just like what you see here Question 4 is about methods. So basically, the user will input the number of iPhone. So let's say it's 4. And then you're going to pass this uh, number into the argument of a method. Okay, and you're going to display the total cost of the iPhone is, all right, so make sure you also have the dollar sign followed by the correct calculation. So this is question 5. So the user can only enter an integer between 10 to 100. So if the user enter 9, 80, then your program is supposed to show not in range, okay? Because this one is not in range. Right, so any of the integer, uh, any of the three integer that is not not in the range, you are supposed to show the message not in range. So now I'm going to do it correctly. So 10, maybe 20, and then 50. Alright, so you are supposed to format the output, okay? The product, format the output in this manner, the product of 10, 20, and 50, and then do the calculation here. Right, so you can assume that the user will only enter in integer. 